Hi, my name is Alex Leon. My code number is 474. I'm 18 years old, I'm a student, and this is my focus project. In this video, I'm going to talk about a healthy life. There is a moment in people's life where they want to have a change in their lifestyle, in their diet, and in their physical appearance. We all want to live a healthy life, but it's not always easy. It can be told, get enough exercise, eat a balanced diet, and avoid harmful habits. But the key to a, health, a healthy lifestyle is to start small and build on what you already know. So here are some simple tips for living a healthy and active lifestyle. First tip, get enough exercise. Get at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity every week. This could include walking, jogging, biking, or swimming. To make it easier, try to get at least 10 minutes every day. Start out slow if you need to and work your way up to 30 or 60 minutes per day. Also, don't forget to include strength training exercise at least two days a week. There are a lot of exercises that you can do to improve your physical appearance. You can go to the gym or you can do it in your own house with the most important exercise. But before we start, we have to know that the body is divided into three large parts, the chest, the back, and the shoulders. Also, don't forget the secondary muscles, the bicep, the tricep, the shoulders, and the calves. When we are beginning, we, we can start training only the three large parts with this exercise. Push-ups. In this exercise, we mainly train the chest and the triceps in the background. You can do three or four series of 10 to 50 repetitions. Here is the example to the correct position of the exercise. Let's begin with the starting position. For your hand position, you're gonna place your hand under your shoulders. Your chest should be directly below your shoulder. For your body position, you wanna keep your body as straight as possible. To do this, you need to control your core, glute, and light muscles. For your shoulder position, your shoulders should be far apart from each other. Now you are ready for a push-up. Attempt to keep your forearms as straight as possible, pointing your elbows back and not to the side. You have to almost touch your chest to the ground as you push your body up. Be sure to keep your body straight. Once you reach the top, you should be in the same position as you started. Pull-ups. In this exercise, we mainly train the back and the shoulders and biceps in the background. You can do three or four series of the repetitions that you can. Here is the example to the correct position. You jump onto the pull-up, fully elevate your scapula while starting a dead hang. Ensure that you are getting a full range of motion and a full contraction from the start of the movement. From here, you are going to depress your scapula and when you do this, your head should rise above your shoulders. Once you have done that, fully retract your scapula and then from there, rise up until your chest is close to touching the bar. Now as you ascend, the most important thing is you focus on bringing your elbows t 
towards your sides. So by doing this, we are going to get one of the key functions. It is very difficult to get the chest towards or touch the bar. You won't be able to do as many repetitions as you normally can. Squats. In this exercise, we mainly train the leg and the calves in the background. You can do three or four series of 12 to 50 repetitions. Here is the example of the exercise, of the correct position of the exercise. Start with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Cross your arms in front so touch your right hand to your left shoulder and vice versa, pointing your elbows straight ahead. Now from here, shift your weight to the ball of your feet and bend your knees. Get as close to 90 degrees as you can looking straight ahead and from here push back up to the starting position. That's how to properly perform a squat. Second tip, eat a balanced diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables, in addition to getting plenty of vitamins and minerals. This will help you to feel satisfied and help feel you energized throughout the day. You can also eat fewer food that are high in fat and added sugar. Instead of soda or juice, drink water is healthier. In my case, I don't have a strict diet, but I try to eat healthy food like fruits and vegetables. And I, I also avoid, try to avoid fast food and food that are high in fat and added sugar. Third tip, stop smoking. Smoking is bad for your health and it can be especially hard to keep if you are used to smoke a lot of cigarettes every day. However, it's really important for your health to stop smoking. If you smoke, try to cut down the amount you smoke over time. Fourth tip, get enough sleep. People who don't get enough sleep don't often don't feel as alert or energetic during the day. Sleep plays an important role in your overall health and for between 7 and 9 hours of sleep each night. If you can't get that much sleep, it's okay, just make sure you get a good night's sleep every night. Fifth tip, avoid too much alcohol. Too much alcohol can damage your liver and lead to a serious health problems. If you choose to drink alcohol, do so in moderation. This means having no more than one or two drinks a day. Thick tip, take a few minutes of relax every day. Spend some time alone doing something you enjoy, such as reading a book, or going for a walk outside. In conclusion, have a healthy lifestyle is not easy, but if you can do some of these tips, you can improve your health and you can become in a better person. Health depends in our habits, our behavior, our diet, our level of physical activity, and the environment in which we live. Our genetics are not modifiable, but we can avoid many diseases by maintaining healthy habits.